Hello everyone, this is Mohammed, and in this video we'll see the demo of a Rabbit plugin which I developed. So before we get started, I just wanted to share some inspiration. We are currently living in an era where AI's potential is increasing in all domains. So I took this as a learning challenge and developed this plugin. So what it does, um, it's basically an AI agent specially designed to interact with your Revit model. Its core functionalities are to handle questions and allowing a conversational approach of for the model information. Think about this as a smart assistant that understands your Revit projects. Okay, and how I build it, I use C Sharp as a language um, with the integration of OpenAI. challenges I ran into. Of course, the journey wasn't without its challenges. So there are a few challenges and some of them are the slow response time and occasionally the models were crashing. Um, but still, these challenges are an opportunity to improve the tool further. So what's next with the AI assistant? Um, well, um, I'll try to add more features to make it more efficient and enjoyable. All right, so enough of me talking. I'll quickly show the demo of the plugin. So I've got a Revit model open. It's like a sample Kobe challenge model um, for the Revit 2022 version. And what the interface looks very simple here. I've got I've got a text box, the buttons that helps me to uh, to perform certain actions, as well as I need to ensure that I I update the uh, OpenAI key. Okay, so for instance, now what I wanted to do is I wanted to ask a question to this model. For instance, list all room names list and append all room names and once you ask the question what it does is that it will look for the information within this particular model and then try to show that information and definitely that's one of the challenges that I'm currently working on, which is the slow response time. So right now you can see this is all the room names that we have within this particular model. So if I say list all, list and append all wall type names, for instance, Okay, still thinking. All right, so here we got all the different wall types that we have within this particular project. And there are many doors here in this particular model. What I wanted to do is just wanted to select those doors. So select all doors. So 249 doors in this particular model. I'll switch this to another project here. Okay, I think I just built four rooms here. I'll place some rooms here, and then maybe I'll ask the area for these rooms. So I'll say, some or rooms area okay post another query let me try this turn up in all room names or some the total rooms area let's try this way
Okay. I think this is it for this particular demo. I'll try to keep you posted in this channel and I look forward for your feedbacks or any idea or future enhancement that you have. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it education and